granddad wanted to go to cinema and the timing could not have been better because today's release is Christopher Nolan's new movie Tenet I'm excited for it We're watching Christopher Nolan's new movie the Tenet oh, wow. yeah are you excited oh yeah yeah he's, he's excited so because of the pandemic cinemas are shut down and because of that since I'm a member they gave me a free ticket to take anyone to go so Granddad's ticket is free for IMAX as well, so free IMAX tickets. And for me, it's a fiver, so five pounds and IMAX for two people. That sounds elite to what Christopher Nolan's tenets. I'm excited going back in the IMAX. You're thinking about moving. So apparently, we're only allowed out one way, so we've been let out at the back, back of the screen outside. I've never seen a film like this. Never seen a film like this? Yeah, this is the first time I've seen a terrible, no? Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, he, he enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Out of ten? Stunt, everything, ready. He loves the stunts. Out of ten? Yeah. Out of ten, I can watch ten. Ten out of ten? Yeah. Wow, that's a, that's a high rating. I'll tell you I my thoughts later. Seen, I have seen a lot of uh, films, but this is a normal man. This one very good. Huh? I don't get why we're let out but round the back, though. Like, they said go behind the screen and next thing you know we're outside i'm very confused by that but we're not allowed back in the cinema whatever all right so i just got home and i got this part of mamazon the gentleman on blu-ray a very enjoyable movie that i watched in january i think it was really it was a really good movie uh, it's a london-based gangster movie and it has some good storyline to it some great characters some funny characters too and i thought i'd just get it on blu-ray and i got it now so i'm looking forward to watching that again so i just got home from watching tenet obviously you saw Granddad's thoughts. He really enjoyed it. It's a very trippy movie. Um, it's also quite confusing at times, but I really enjoyed it too. Um, the action was great. Um, it was fast paced. It was very interesting. Even better in IMAX. I mean, at least I think it is. I haven't seen it in regular 2D. I might actually watch in regular 2D at some point because I need to see this again. It's like Inception. Like, there are parts of this that are confusing. There are parts where I'm just like, wait, wait, what? Repeat that again, please? There's other, there's other parts where I'm just like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. But overall, I understood what's going on. Like, I understood the main part of the story. It's just there's some parts, there's some elements to it, especially at the start where I got really confused. But things do get explained as you go along. Like, things get explained better and you get to understand more as the movie goes along. But at the, at the start, it's really confusing. Um, even the trailers, they didn't give away too much. But there's a few um, scenes in the trailers that look really cool. They're even better in the movie, uh, that's for sure. There's some really cool stunt work, some cool action scenes. That plane crash scene, the scene on the road with the car flips, um, the scene on the boats that are in the trailer, they look, they're so much better actually in the movie. And it's really good. The cast is good, uh, the acting is good, the story is pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's just confusing at times. At times I'm just like, I, I, I don't get it. But I did get it in the end. But I still need to rewatch it to like fully understand everything for sure. But it's a really good movie. Christopher Nolan, he knows, he knows how to make movies that are a spectacle. You know, movies that are elite, you know, blockbusters. And he has so much range in terms of like what he makes. The types of, movie he, types of movies he makes. The way he makes them is so unique. Um, and yeah, he's done it already, hasn't he? He's done a war movie. He's done a superhero movie. He's done movies like this. He's done a lot of different types of movies. And they all just work. And his movies are made for the big screen and watching an IMAX was definitely worth it, that's for sure. It was a good movie, really enjoyable. Hopefully more of the world gets to see it eventually because apparently in the US a lot of cinemas are not showing it, only some cinemas are. So uh, yeah, I think people need to see this. It's solid for me, 8 out of 10 in my opinion. I think it's a good movie that I really enjoyed. I couldn't really find many faults in it to be honest. I liked most of it. It visually looked nice as well. The effects were good. So I haven't, I haven't really got any complaints. It's not perfect, like, I think you, you can always find a fault in every movie that exists, but it's pretty damn good for what it is, pretty damn good, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it again, but I need to see, um, what's it called, Unhinged, I need, I need to see Unhinged, apparently it's a crazy, a crazy movie about a psycho, so <laughs> I need to check it out, but I might come back, go to go, go, go back to Cineworld to see uh, Tenet again, I think I got to, so, uh, yeah, definitely worth it. I recommend it. If it's available to you in cinemas, then uh, I recommend seeing it if you can. Wearing a mask, it, it really feels weird. The air feels very strange. 
It looks cool though. <laughs> it looks cool. Maybe because it's a black one, it, it just looks cool. It just goes with every outfit. But uh, if after you wear it for like a few hours, like three or four hours later, it starts to feel really weird. At the start, it's fine, but yeah, it, it feels really weird eventually. <laughs> Cause I can't